I put the refrigerator door back on. And yeah. there's that, that plastic and tub under there. Goes under, in the yeah, I know. I got to put that back in, in there. And, uh, and way up underneath there, that's the soundproofing. I want to put that in there. That's more shit there. I got to go over to the camper and get some of the stuff done. Because I'm getting ready to go. Are you done yet? Done what? <laughs> Good day, mates. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the villages. Hey, wait a minute. Let's get our matching Australia hats. No. Huh? No. Come on, Skip. That's gay. <laughs> That's gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that, right? There is something wrong with it. <laughs> oh, no, don't be saying that stuff. It says so in the Bible. You, you religious fanatics talk one outside of your mouth and then you lie out of the other side of your mouth. So that's the right, Bible. So, folks, we... What's this toolbox laying in my driveway? We're on a... <laughs> what? You're serious? Smile with... Come on. Right there. It's okay. It's behind. Nobody steals stuff in the villages. Before it puts any stuff back in the okay. car, I have to put that back in. Smile. Come on. Just, just, what are you doing, Skip? Anyway, folks. So, today is day one of my, uh, <laughs> today's day one of my trip. And, uh, I don't know if any, if this is a, is, if this is indicative to throw out a 50 cent word. If this is indicative of what the rest of my trip is going to be like. Here. Oh, back here just boy. So we're going to go look at the, uh, I told, I told Skip. First of all, I told Skip, I said, Skip, I said, we're taking the car so, so Sue could come with us. You know, because on the golf car, it, it Sue couldn't come with us. But, uh, but we, I said, I want to see the new area. I'm always hearing about the new area of the villages. You know, show me the show me the new area so that's what we're going to do i don't know necessarily that that i would buy a home here in the villages i might there might come a day but like i was telling skip and sue the humidity kills me you know it just oh my goodness the humidity you know if you don't want to go out and play frisbee on a saturday afternoon on a park or something like that then the villages might be a nice place but uh but other than that the, the humidity well, it, it just really that. really kills me so we're looking at, uh, we're going to go, where, where are we going now? To the new area? Yeah. We're going over to Austin. I call it the Finney area because Finney was the very first village they built down there. But there's now there's 20 or 30 different villages down there. It's over 15,000 acres. So. so you call it the Finney? The Finney area because the Finney, Finney area. was the first village that they built. Okay, and we're looking at homes in in the in the six hundred range, uh, six hundred and up. Well, they're all kinds, just like here. The ones where I'm at, I got mine at the at the time for two twenty. Okay, I had all these homes here. All these over here to my left is there's nobody behind them. That's the swamp. Uh huh. That's and the so swamp. those started at six hundred and up. But if you're gonna buy by the swamp, then you're more prone to mosquitoes and stuff. It's a lot of things you gotta take in consideration because you'd be surprised. Like you were talking about buying a house on the golf course in front yeah. of you, and it's a great idea because the price of those houses go up substantially over time. Right. And but what people don't think about is where, which house on which hole. And how far out should that house be from the driving or the tee off? Because at 200 yards or so, your house is prone to be hit by golf balls. And if you got vinyl signing or something like that, or well, windows, your lanai, it's gonna... it's your lanai on the golf course because all lanai's are on the golf course side, so you have that view of the golf course. Right. And if you've got glass windows in it, or if you have a screen, you can just imagine a golf ball traveling at 200 mile an hour and it hits that screen. What's going to happen? Ah. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go. Maybe we'll maybe we'll have an open house. Uh, maybe we'll see an open house somewhere along the way. But we'll we'll be back. The area that we're going through here, Sue is just telling me, is a, is a preserve. Now, a preserve is uh, I, excuse my ignorance, but but a, a preserve area. is a protected area. Protected is it, is it like a state? Do, do, does the it's does not a the park state or anything? I don't know how it works. Somebody told me that it, a preserve designation could only last twenty years. I, I don't know. Okay. And what's this neighborhood called? This is Pine Hills. This is called Pine Hills, and this is an area that you said that you would have. Uh, I would have bought in here when I, I should have. I didn't. I just should have. You should have. How old are these homes that we're driving past? Uh, these homes in here, I, my house was built in 2014, I think, and so these homes in here were built probably around 2016, 2017. Okay, three, four years old. Yeah. Not, not too.
too old. And I was asking, I was asking Skip why people would even think of buying a big beautiful home with a big beautiful pool and be right on a main street just like this. I, I and and Skip was saying it's it's economics, it's the cost. It'll cost less to to have a home right there. Like these folks right here, they're sitting out on their lanai. They got a big, beautiful fenced-in lanai and they're watching cars go by all day long. You know, so I don't, uh, that's not what I want. Interesting. How far back here? Yeah, All right, so Sue was just telling me these are what are called, most of these are called premier homes and we're in an area that is called the the pres well it's called the preserve yes right. this area here is the preserve it, and it uh, surrounds the, uh, the wildlife preserve wonderful now that's a nice home right there very nice now that slow down right look at that garage right there you see there is your garage they they don't mess around that's a garage you'd put a big old RV in. I'll be darn! Look at that. So they've got them. They've got them scattered around a little bit. Four car garage there. Four car. Yeah, you don't find them everywhere either. Yeah. This is a nice area. It is. Everything over here, I think. You slow down a little bit, Skip. Look at this this property right here. This is the home of Larry and Kathy. Wow. I like that with the brick. Make a left here and look at this this home here actually has a four car garage look at that these are some big homes now I, this is a this is a peeling home i guess this is what you call the elevation the outside is is, is I, I was looking at homes recently and they said that's the that's the elevation what does it cost you uh, what does it cost the two of you to air condition your home in the middle of summer? Well, I don't have an air conditioner. I got a heat pump. Heat pump. Well, cool your home. What uh, does it cost? I think our to... electric bill is on average is one hundred twenty dollars a month. Okay. And wow. Look at this house. I'm sorry to interrupt. But look at this house. About one hundred twenty a month. Yeah, and, that, and we're total electric. Uh -huh. So this month it was ninety seven. You know, yeah, ninety seven. It's seven never this been month. over one hundred and fifty. Mm hmm which was something for us because in Indiana it was a lot more. Yeah. Now look at this home. Could you slow down, please? I'm doing five mile an hour. How slow do I go? Okay. go? Now this is not bad. Look at that. That's a big, beautiful home. It is. Right there. That's Ken, That's the home of Ken and Mary. Now if I had a nice home like this and I was here in the villages, I could have Sue over for dinner. You know, I could I'll bring her over and drop her off. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah you'd as have as to because that. you wouldn't be invited inside. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You know, as long but as I uh, don't do the cooking, is that it? No, you wouldn't do the cooking <laughs> I at all. I'm not going to go in anyway because you just bore me to death. There's no, another yeah. uh, garage. Here's one right here with the camper in it. Wow. Right here to your left, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. You can see what he's got in there. Uh huh. He's got a big RV in there. If that. anything, I would buy the house just for that. Look at that. <laughs> I would. He's got a. An H3. Oh, that's a Prevo. He's got a Prevo. That's a full-size bus. Uh-huh. Wow. wow. Look at some of these homes, folks. This one is not bad. Look at that. But, you know, I don't see many for sale signs. They no. don't. And like I said, they, these are premier homes, and, and, and they were built to uh, what the owners wanted. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. I don't think they do that anymore. Quite custom. Yeah. And I said, I don't think they do that anymore, but uh, they do have some that you can build. I would wonder what these homes sell for. Well, Six, they, 650 and up. That's it? You can well, get a home no, for some in here for 650 Some of them are over a million. Yeah. The ones with the motorhome garages, I almost guarantee you, that's probably close to a million bucks. Yeah. And there is one for sale in here for 800 and something. Now, this just up here, this, this must be the clubhouse right no. here, right? Well, is I this, don't know. Is this the clubhouse? No. no. That's a home. That's a oh, home. that's a home. There's yes. all homes in here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Look at beautiful? this. Look at this house right here. See? That's nice. See that, like wow. That? Look at that yeah, house. There's your motorhome garage right Look there. Look at that. Look at that home. 
Holy cow. You got what? Two, three car garages and a motorhome garage. Isn't that something? I've never seen this part of the villages before. Most people haven't. Because most people don't come in here with a million dollars looking for something. Oh. Beautiful. Now, right do they, the you, these people all have to maintain their own yards yeah. and everything? Oh, yeah. It's just like anywhere else. You own the property. Yeah, this is not a. Lease We're at thing. the corner of Conservation Trail yeah. and Cryatmire. But 90% of all these homes, if you look, if you look behind almost all these homes, there's nobody behind you. It's all part of that preserve back there and it surrounds us. So, you, now, what you're looking for, this is probably I it. I want to, uh, excuse me just one moment. I'm going to step out. I want to walk just over here. You can't walk through that guy's yard. Yes, I can. It's private property, Tommy. Please. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Well, I'm involved sitting here. Okay. All right. So, look at this. This is really nice. You see, this is what I'm this is what I'm looking for. Is something similar that backs up to a preserve. You see? You could just sit out have on a barbecue looking out at the uh, looking out at the alligators this is nice look at that that's really nice beautiful really really beautiful so this next home purchase of mine, I want it to be, I don't know about my last, but but maybe. Look at this home here. I like the stone. I like the stone in front. This home here is not bad either. All right. Wonderful. Good old Skip and Sue. Oh, I love them to death.